Okay, my name is Dr. Kambi Sadrai and today we're doing wisdom teeth surgery. This presentation is for general dentist only. Um, if you're a surgeon, you should already know how to do this. Pass me the mirror, please. All right, we're gonna take out number one. 16 here. 17, which is covered under his gums and his bone and 32 which is partially impacted okay I always start from the top okay when I press here does anything feel sharp okay mm -mm. how about here mm -mm. good elevator okay so start elevating right there do you feel any pain at all mm -mm. you feel lots of pressure the pressure is normal okay mm -hmm. so I use a smaller elevator at first and just try to ease it a little bit. Open your mouth. Open that. Close your mouth just a little. There you go. So that's number one. As you can see, it has two diverging roots, so hmm, maybe that's why was not coming out that easily. So that's number one. I always kind of check and make sure there's nothing left over. Turn towards me, please. So now after 16, any pain here? Mm -mm. Turn towards me, any pain here at all? Mm -mm. Good. Turn towards me some more. Come, 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 come. Close your mouth just a little. Close your mouth some more. As you can see, because I use a straight elevator, and this is only my preference, there are some angled elevators. I'm having him close his mouth, so I don't have to stretch him like a gummy bear. And there you go. See, again, because of the roots diverging, it wasn't coming up. Okay, making sure nothing is out there. Nothing sharp, good. Done with that one. Turn to your left for me. Now 32. Does anything hurt here when I touch? Mm -mm. Good. Let me please get number 15. I'll just make a s small incision there. Um, I don't want to flap it just yet. Make sure it doesn't bring his mm -hmm. hands up there. So. If I can take it out without troughing and flapping, it's a good day. Let me get the small one. All right, so let's elevate a little, see if it comes out. I see some movement, that's always a great sign. I see more movement. So I'll just ease it and ease it. The trick is to elevate in a couple of directions at least, so I just go buckly a little. When you see blood coming out, that's actually a good sign and not a bad sign. Okay. All right, this one, there's no way around not, um, there's no way around flapping and troughing, so we're just gonna start the flap. I always skip 18 to 19 at the line angle, and I flap. When I get to the actual retromolar pad, I make a hockey stick incision. If you have seen the previous videos, this is my favorite. An envelope flap, just like an envelope. How are we doing? You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Open really big for me. Tilt your chin down a little bit, and then there, right there, perfect. So, I make sure it's a clean flap because then he will heal much better. Keep suctioning him.
Now there is number 17. Section is throat. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So the trough should always be narrow and very deep. I never cross the midline here of the tooth. Nice and clean, move medially for me. Right in the middle. How are we doing? Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Section the tooth right down in the middle, all the way through the percussion. Mm -hmm. Section. There you go. You okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that sounds scary, but you're good. How are we doing? You in pain? Mm -hmm. Are you in pain or no? Yeah. <laughs> you are in pain. You're, you're okay? Suction. Keep suctioning. Suction here. So he will heal very nicely. Irrigation. Okay. Suction. Okay. 